we're gonna make a chorizo crust. And so chorizo, right? Chorizo, <laughs> chorizo. is my favorite guilty pleasure guilty of all pleasure. time. Like anytime chorizo's in something, I have to eat it. Butter, some onions, and garlic. Very important while you're sweating, season your vegetables. Now I'm gonna have you go ahead and put that tomato paste in okay. there. Okay. And work that tomato paste into it. Tomato paste is gonna give us a really nice little bit of sweetness. The paste is, is a little sweeter than just using a tomato product. After we've cooked the tomato down a little bit and the onions, we're gonna just go ahead and put them onto a little sizzle platter here. Sizzle platter at home could be just a plate. It could be a plate, If you don't exactly. have sizzle platters lying around. Okay, how long is this going in the fridge? That, that'll go in the fridge for about 30 minutes until it's cooled completely. And then we're gonna take our same pan, we're gonna add olive oil to it, regular olive oil, not extra virgin. Okay. Add our dried chorizo in here. We're gonna just warm that, so we're gonna get the flavor off the bottom of that pan. And we're gonna place this into a 200 degree oven. 200 degrees, it's not gonna burn on us. It'll slowly infuse the flavor and it'll give us freedom to do other things while this is cooking. Great. It's been about 15 minutes, so if you can grab the onions out of the fridge, okay. then I'll get the chorizo. All right. Wow. You just wanna taste to make sure that you've infused that flavor of the chorizo in there. Mm, it's really good. Strain this. Still a little warm, this oil. I'm gonna just put it over a bowl of ice just to help speed up the cooling down process. Oh, okay. So, panko. Yes, my Japanese favorite. Japanese breadcrumbs. We're gonna start with a little bit of spicy, spicy cayenne pepper. And then we have some ancho, smoked ancho chili pepper, paprika, salt, onions and sweated garlic, and butter. And this butter is room temperature, right? The butter is room temperature. Okay. That's a lot of butter. Well, it, it is a buttery crust, and whenever I'm making this, I make enough to always do an extra 30, 40 scallops. Okay. And keep it in the freezer, because this holds so nice in the freezer. So if you're entertaining, you can make this ahead of time and leave it. This will hold for weeks in your freezer. Awesome. And so, just working the butter in, and I'm gonna remove this now and add our oil. As soon as it's all incorporated, it's ready to go. This needs to go in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Okay. To get firm before we start making it into our crust. So you can see now it's been sitting about an hour. It's like cookie dough. Yeah. And so what you want is you want the size to be about the size of, of a small ice cream scoop. And okay. scoop this into your hand and then form it into a ball. And don't worry about it being exactly perfect because the press will help it okay. get that way. My this daughter would like great. doing this. <laughs> this is fun. We have wax paper. So it doesn't stick, doesn't which I've stick. learned Give the hard way. Press. And you're done. And then when you store them, you store them right in the wax paper. It's genius. Yeah. So you can see how it just pulls away because of the butter in the crust. Oh, yeah. So now we have our crusts. They're all ready to go. We're going to pop them in the freezer, let them sit up an hour overnight, whatever we want, and they'll be ready for our scallops.